the two man for Madison, and this is Tom Willoughby's creation. We're going to make a hook with an eye in it just over a uh, half inch, almost five eighths. And then we've got two links that got to go together. And then the third link is going to be a circle, and it's still got the teardrop in it. The secret to the, the hook is the strength comes in being as wide as possible with the material that you have right in the back side and then it, it gussets down and you've got some thickness here so that you make basically a triangle. It's a real strong straight shape and it's tapered on both ends. The, the hook is going to be it's important to leave your mass where you're going to fuller it down and narrow it up. And that, that coincidentally is the golden means. You're going to have the long section here and the short section here. And it's a, it's a fun pro, uh, forging process. And it's fun to have your striker help you out as much as possible. So we'll get going right off the bat. I have a pair of one inch square tongs that Shane Carter made for me whenever I was on the team we had to make something out of one inch square but it holds one inch round just right perfect so we're going to try and get as much done with the eye side as we can so that we can shift on over to the, the hook side all right we're just going to set down the edge Perfect. Perfect. And then I'm just going to come over here, hit this corner down, hit this corner down, and that way it kind of makes a shoulder. And then we'll take my set hammer. Me and Levi are going to run her down. Get in here. And then just even up my circle. When I say that, just... A circle we'll straighten all this up and then we'll punch the eye just me and you right in here so then when I, I got my circle a little off all we gotta do is bring it right here
punch the eye in it. All right. Good one, good one. All right, just just easy, easy. All right, so now we got us a nice black mark on there. Hold on, hold on. Perfect. I'm just gonna, I, let's do the mandrel real quick. the other side. Alright. Cool. Now we'll just kind of clean it up on the horn and draw this edge up and we'll be done with this side. Alright, we're just going to get a little bit of drawing done. Perfect, and then, so then I, I got enough material that I could just come around and soften up that corner all the way around. Then do it from this side. A good old fashioned smack with the flatter. Alright, just let's see if we can't get the mandrel in there one more time. Farther. Yeah. You could say, holy moly. <laughs> Alright. Just a few little bit of cleanup here and we'll go to the other side. We're getting the fat side here. This is going to be the center of our hook. So we're just going to flatten it out a little bit more. Kind of bring down that center and then do the other side. Just kind of clean up the edges a little bit. Just cleaning up on those corners, making it nice. And then we'll just, me and you, Levi.
right, we got the taper going that way. We got the eye. And now we'll just draw out the other end real quick. Come in here with the flatter. All right, we're starting. We got almost full thickness, not full thickness, but we have a big percentage of our thickness here. And we're starting to knife blade it up. And what we'll do is I got a pair of half inch tongs that'll just fit in here nice. And I'm just gonna make me a nice toe bend. You ready? All right, just gonna make a toe bend. Once you get it past halfway, switch it around. Now we can literally use itself to help bend it, which is do the other side. All right, so when you want to bring the two surfaces together, we got to literally hold it up higher. So I'm going to hold it, and I'm going to start here, and I'm going to just circle it around. Then you do it here, and you keep on repeating that until you get that in the center. to it. When I say that, I'm just going to grab this edge. When I'm grabbing that edge, the whole time, see how it's twisting? If I keep on hitting the outer edge, it'll bring that right to the center and bring my belt, my taper all the way to where everything lines up. All right, bringing it to center. Really pulling towards that edge, trying to make my circle. Because the goal is to have an even taper from right here. And you can see where it's uneven, that's where I want to hit it the most. So then you can see from here, I have full thickness, and from here, I'm bringing it to a nice even taper.
The reason it wants to buck it out of my hand is because it's not straight there whatsoever. One more heat of that, I'll pull that tip around and I think we'll be golden. Just kind of making that nice, just a nice taper. Again, start here, I'm going to start at the rim, and I'm going to pick up the whole way around. Start here. When it tries to buck me off, there we go. Just work it all the way around, and it'll find its center. Now you can see I was starting to get into the center of the hook. We're just going to come here and kind of finish off this S. Bring it all the way down. Get a little bit of arc to it. And then I'm just going to push on it. Because we want that, we want that underneath the very base of the hook. So we want the line to be straight through the bottom, so I got to bend it back just a little bit more. Every day. The more the whole line can be in the center, the better off your hook's going to be because that's where it's going to pull. Everything's going to pull. If you got it crooked, then it's going to have a weak spot. All right, I think we did pretty good. We're off the hammer. We've got five inches, a one inch round. We want to have the taper go straight through the eye. We have over a half inch round hole, almost five eighths. We want to have strength in here. We don't want to whittle it down too far in this area. And we will set it up for the chain links next video on chain link welds and everything. This is the Conforge two-man class. This is Tom Willoughby's hook, and we're excited to see you up there. Why'd the golfer bring two pairs of pants in case he got a hole in one?